Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Storm, Steve Main here. Um, for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, Daily Storm is a video series where I go into Heroes of the Storm and you know, switch out to Quick Match and play a daily quest. Uh, my daily quest today is to play a specialist. I'm going to be running Sylvanas. Uh, I have just recently, I recently did a Sylvanas video, but they have made some changes to her kit, including a brand new ultimate, Mind Control, briefly control an enemy hero. Uh... Which, uh, let's see, enemy heroes movement and prevent them from doing anything else for 2.5 seconds. So I get to run them wherever I want, which is into danger more often than not. Uh, they also moved the previous ultimate, Possession, to uh, rank 7, where it's now just a regular uh, talent. So that is going to be fun. We're going to do uh, all kinds of fun little stuff today. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like they have ramped and redone quite a bit to her uh, overall kit here so let's uh, let's load in and see what happens victory for the forsaken all right we're about halfway into the battlefield of eternity and we've got Sylvanas Decca Thrall Raynor Tassadar going up against Sonya Raynor Lunara Asmodan and Malfurion we only have one Decca New week for a new hero, and we only have one of them in this match. I, I feel cheated somehow. Deeply disappointed. Beyond that, the teams are pretty even. We've got uh, we got a healer in Tassadar, and more damage prevention. They've got Malfurion. Both sides have a tank. We have Decca. They have Sonya. We've got two assassins and myself and Esmodan for lane push. So we're going to be doing quite a bit to. Uh, slap each other stupid this match um it's very well-rounded teams i am a little bit better than asmodan at pushing the objective on this map and taking out the immortals in the middle so that is going to be i think deeply helpful we can roll up here to the top uh, let's see nearby mercenaries are stronger i could do merc queen i don't think i'm going to in this incident uh, let us try one of the new talents, the Overflowing begins. Quiver. When a nearby minion Ten dies, seconds. a free withering fire is shot. So that's going to uh, give me a free shot of withering fire. My five uh, shoots an enemy for a little bit of damage, stores five charges. I gain a charge on a nearby enemy minion or mercenary death and three charges on nearby hero deaths. Uh, in addition to that, I'm now overflowing, so whenever a nearby minion dies, I actually will uh, need to watch that happen. Uh, my W, which I just used, is Shadow Dagger, throws a dagger out, uh, spreads, uh, spreads a toxin to uh, nearby targets, which is nice. My E ability, Howling Banshee. Uh, let's me do that. It's kind of an escape clause, which I really enjoy. I'm listening. And my trait is Black Arrow. Everything I hit takes a one second stun, and the damage flows outward from there. Rainer's heading back to heal, which I get that. We're going to need to consider that here in a little bit as we're getting closer and closer. I'm not going to make it. No yeah, Lunara's Toxin had me yeah, at a certain point there. There's nothing I could do about it. I will be back up in a second and into the objective. We're still slightly ahead of the enemy team. We both have one kill apiece. So that's not too bad. I'm going to come in here and help push down the objective. Uh, some of the team is defending ours. The other team's Asmodan is not helping in either 
back. So we've got that one. Uh, the first immortal always appears in either the top or the bottom, and then after the halfway point moves, it ends up in the spot nearest uh, the enemy team. So Rainer and I are doing some decent work here. We're going to get this thing down, I think pretty quickly. Which way is he going? Which way is he going? He is going top, and so am I. Um, at this point, let's see. Oh yeah, Wither Barrage gathers an additional charge and fires faster. Yes, we will do that. Please, thank you very much. Now, one of the things here is, is uh, Sylvanas' talents affect both towers and minions and mercenaries. So, doing this, I get to move in here and triple the structures that the enemy team is using so that they do not attack our mortal. Who I would like to keep around as long as possible. Uh, triple damage to non-heroic unit, death building structures, and the immortal, making Sylvanas even more noble. I could have taken possession here. I almost did just to try it out, but I figured, you know what, let's, uh, let's stick with the theme and actually try and make a character that, uh, fights well. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get killed. Oh, wow, I got killed by a minion. A filthy, vile minion. However, good job, everybody. We did a nice push there, got everything moving in a very good way. I'm gonna be up, I'm gonna grab this mercenary camp. The moment is upon us. Camp, go go. <laughs> you know, here, most of the enemy team is in the bottom lane. We are going to come down here. Let them have that one. Two immortals heading down in that general direction. Yeah, let me go down here and do the immortal. Because I do triple damage to non heroic structure creatures, which this is a non heroic creature. I will be able to help push it down really quick. That was ugly. Quickly that wins. The enemy team has actually missed a Take mind control because I do want to try it out. Done. Good enough. Uh, we're gonna 
Come up here, hit the fountain. Heal up. I think we did we get no we did not collect asthma down on that one. Although we did get a couple good kills. Unfortunately for Decca, he is correct. I didn't see what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> I assume it was horribly embarrassing or something. I don't know. The gates of heaven shall lie. So we are going to catch up with our mortal. The enemy team is only a little way behind us. We can move over here. Overwhelm these mercenaries. Something that recharges with your fire. That stuff. Unfortunately, do not test my patience. I do not think we're going to grab this one. Our best work. Still not too bad. Utilize them. That's all. The heavens shall 
Sing to die. What do we get at this one? Withering Fire grants movement speed. Ooh. I'm here. Ooh, basic attack. Black arrow. Black arrow slow enemies. Alright, so I will now make them slow if I infect them with something. That will work We out. should capture this mercenary camp. Yeah, sure. The moment is upon us. My thanks for now. target for my hero. The moment is upon us. Okay, they have a little uh, half point on this. Let's just set into this sucker. Okay, drop it. Do not test my patience. You have my thanks. The light of a now. crystal arch shines on. The enemy team is a little bit ahead of us. Give the order. The wickedness of no, no, man, not so far forward. Fearing got me. Right, you got a couple of them. We really need to not focus them so much as the uh, the immortal. I don't think we're gonna get this one. I'm fairly confident with their extra levels. This is immortal. Well, that went fast and ugly. <laughs> not bad though. Yeah, I'm liking the changes to Sylvanas. She feels a little more uh, over the top damagey. 
Not bad. Um, siege damage is amazing. Hero damage is okay. Uh, no actual kills, but 11 assists out of 12. That means nearly 100% participation. My XP contribution was really good for my team. Not overall good for the match, but for my team, it was very good. Um, let's take a look at the talents there. So, what I took was, at the beginning, I took Overflowing Quiver. When a nearby enemy minion dies, a free withering fire sh is shot. Cannot hit heroes and has a short cooldown. So, that doesn't happen all the time, but we'll do a pretty nice barrage there. Uh, Ruling Barrage, increase withering fire charges by one. And charges are fired 33% faster, so that just means they go out quicker and do more damage. Um, Withering Fire deals 200% bonus damage to minions, mercenaries, and monsters. Okay, so it doesn't work on the objective. I thought it would work on the objective, but... Uh, you know what, the minions... Versus, well, actually, monster. I guess the objective is the monster, isn't it? I mean, the, the, the immortals do count as monsters for this case. Huh. I, I think it does. I'm not going to swear to it, but I believe that that is, in fact, the case. Uh, then we have mind control after one second cast take control of an enemy hero's movement and prevent them from doing anything else channel last 2.5 seconds so i was using that we we weren't really coordinated enough to get kills out of it um i don't think the i don't think the friendly team was used to it as that much right now so they weren't able to uh kind of follow what i was doing and it was interesting that when I would use it on Sonya while she was whirlwinding, she would not stop whirlwinding. She would continue to whirlwind. So my moving around was just actually causing her to do more damage to my team. So that is something to remember. Uh, Windrunner. Teleporting with Haunting Wave fully recharges your withering fire and can be cast a second time within five seconds after, tele after teleporting for free. So I get a second fire. I can get... Uh, up to 12 extra arrows that way. Uh, overwhelming Affliction. Black Arrow now applies hero slowing movement speed for their duration, and it can stack up to five times. So it could actually slow their movement speed by 30%, which is pretty brutal. Um, there is a, another talent which gives them vulnerability, so they take more damage. Uh, with this group, that probably would have been a better choice. And then we're just going to jump back here and look at the level 20. At level 20, I would have had uh, mind control enemies gain 100% movement speed. I would have been able to make people run into horrible things faster. Uh, Fury of the Storm and Bolt of the Storm are pretty much what they always have been. And uh, as I was saying back here, with uh, I could have taken Cold Embrace, which Shadow Dagger uh, makes targets vulnerable, taking 25% more damage for two seconds. So the whole team would have been hitting harder. Not bad. Uh, I must say, I... I I like what they've changed. I, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I especially like the new ultimate. I think once people get used to seeing it in action, I think it'll be a little bit better. But uh, for right now, pretty happy with it. What do you folks think? Uh, I know Sylvanas is not the only hero that got up, got changed. I was going to say upgraded, but let's say changed because some people don't necessarily agree with that term. What's your opinion? I would love to hear it in the comments below. What do you think they did to Sylvanas or how, or any of the heroes? I know like Tychus got revamped and Gazlo got a huge change. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. You guys have a great day and I'll see you all next time.